Welcome back to Room Raiders Double Trouble. Earlier, with the help of his twin brother, Mike bounced off the walls in Rachel's room. Oh my God. He's dirty now. That was pretty cool. Now all the girls can do is watch helplessly as the twins search through Dana and Adrian's rooms. Here we are, spot number two, cozy little condo village. Should be a good one. Oh my god, it's my house. Have southwestern architecture. I like the feel a little bit better than the last place. What's up with the hat? Don't be jealous. <laughs> all right, ready to flip this place like the last one? Yep. All right, let's do it. It's so messy. All right. Looks like a lot of girls might live here. It's a little bit dirtier than I expected. Oh my god, embarrassing. They like to hang loose. That means they party a little more than the last girl did. I party. I just keep it clean. Holy crap, look at this kitchen, man. That is disgusting. Yeah, I can't even look at that. Man. Somebody's got to do your dishes. We just had a big dinner. Ugh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Up to a room. Oh, sick. You better practice falling down, I'll be there in a second. That's what you get for making fun of my house. I hope this girl's more your type, but uh, I hope her bedroom's cleaner than her kitchen. Oh, it doesn't get much cleaner. Wow. This room is definitely decorated nice, but there's no feng shui going on in here. Oh, oh. definitely not. Let's start here. Well, I can say this is a lot better than the last room. No dog shrine, just some dog food. Ah! Dog's got to eat, so it's definitely necessary. I don't raise my dog every morning. <laughs> it was morning. not a dog shrine. <laughs> Over here, we got some dead flowers. And it looks like somebody hasn't bought you flowers in a while, so maybe I can step to the plate and actually get you 12 dozen new ones. Only 12? I think I'm worth 24 dozen. Oh, I'm worth we'll see more than that. that. Let's see what we got in here, Dick. Pampered princess pajama bottoms. Sounds like a problem. Maybe you have problems. Princesses are a dime a dozen, but she looks like maybe a dime if she can fit into these things. If you pick me, you'll see I'm worth a 10. Check out this bed. It's actually, it actually feels kind of comfortable, dude. You should check it out. Get out of my bed! I don't even want to mess with it. You don't know what's crawling on there. Yeah, right. I wouldn't touch your smelly body. I'll have both of them in there. Oh, you <laughs> wish. Let's check out our computer desk since we spend a lot of time on the computer. Huge turn off right here. <laughs> ends with the chewed off ends. I don't know if this is your dog or if you're just under a lot of pressure and stress. <laughs> That's my dog! That's my dog! That's my dog! And either way, this thing is gone. It should just be thrown away. <gasps> See what she's got in these wooden drawers here over here in the bathroom, Derek. Here we go. Pick a drawer, Derek. Any drawer. Let's take this one. <sighs> <laughs> what is that? That's a hair extension. I'm going to have to grab the tongs for this because I'm not going to use my bare hands on whatever that is. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't touch it with my bare hands. We got the tongs, evidence bag. Is this real or what? Yeah, my hair is real. So we can collect whatever's been eating the dog food out in the living room. That is disgusting looking. We're going to hold on to that for you. It's just a hair extension. You've got some explaining to do. And apparently some cleaning to do. Let's get out of here. Go ahead, get out of my house. What'd you think about her room, Derek? Well, she had some PJs that I liked. It showed she has obviously got a slim figure. So what'd you like about her room? I think her bed was probably the thing I liked the most. It was really comfortable. And after a day getting broke off skating, that'd be a nice place to crash. Mm. So what's up with those chewed pens? I don't know, man. But what about those decrepit roses? It looks like it's been a long time since somebody gave her some flowers. Maybe she doesn't deserve any. One more to go. Who knows what we'll find? This is very, very desolate right here. Middle of nowhere. It's my house. Yeah. I got this one in the it's back. It's middle guys. of nowhere. Look at this, Derek. Dead cow skulls. I killed that one myself. The cows can't stay alive out here. How are we supposed to? My neighbors will pull a shotgun on you. Last house. Hopefully this house isn't as dry as the desert you live in the middle of. Oh, no. Someone died. All right. Uh, the decorations are not as dry as the desert outside. Oh, my god. They're in my living room. Yes, Derek. I wonder if it had brass balls when it was alive. Mm. We need to have some brass balls to survive at my house. Let's go see what we can dig up in our room. Oh, no. It's all about you. Oh, no. Wow. Look at all this leopard print, dear. We got a wild cat on our hands. Got no problem with that. <laughs> all right, let's start off with this drawer. Uh... Looks like we got some uh, candy here. Hey, those are my caramels. Now I like sweet stuff in the bed. Honey, I'm more than sweet in the bed. Let's move on to this next drawer. I cannot believe this is happening. All right, looks like we got a ruler. Maybe you like to uh, make sure all the guys measure up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. I know you've heard that before. Oh, no, it's not. Size matters to me. He's definitely making up excuses. Uh, all right. <laughs> Can't pass this up. Looks like you had a profitable week at a Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. I'm an exclusive guy, so I don't like everybody to take a peek at what I'm getting with. Sorry, I put it out there. You got to deal with it. Let's move on. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Something's alive in Something's there. finally alive here out in the desert. That's my fish. <laughs> Not only is it alive, but it's also wet. And that's something we haven't seen all day. It's hard to find in the desert. Don't put your fingers in there. He'll bite them off. Let's take a look at the clothes. Look at those. <sighs> those are my boots. <laughs> that looks like she must be doing some sort of motocross. She looks like a... Some Hard sort of daredevil, daredevil or something like that. I am a daredevil. Looks like she has some of the kind of the same interests. They like my badass reputation. <laughs> Are you an adrenaline junkie? Do you know how to use those? That's me. Look at this thing. Uh, tattered and torn turtleneck. Time to throw that out, hon. There's only two reasons to wear this. Either one to hide something or to keep warm. And you're in the land of the sun, so obviously you probably don't wear this a lot. In the yeah. winter time. And if you do, you'll end up like the cattle outside. Mm. Oh. I don't really agree with this. I think it's time to give that to the Goodwill. At least I buy my clothes, not mommy and daddy. Uh, what is this? Looks like some dirty laundry. <gasps> don't go in there. <laughs> All right, well, we get out the spy kit. Not the spy kit. Grab the rubber gloves. Tools to get the job done. You ain't gonna find nothing in there, baby. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in here. I That's can't believe weird. it. I can't believe they'd go through that. Yeah. It's got a little pocket. Oh, my God, I can't believe they found those. I like it a lot. Can't keep much change in there. <laughs> <laughs> we tore it from the ground up. Let's get out of here. I got this one, girls. No, I definitely think I have it now. That room was a lot more our style. I like those boots you found, those motocross boots. It goes to show she's not afraid to take a risk, and I like a girl that'll show me a thrill. And what didn't you like about a room, Derek? Well, all those Mardi Gras beads. Makes you wonder what she had to do to get all those. I don't even want to think about it. And you remember that turtleneck, Derek? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we live in the middle of the desert. Either she's trying to sweat off weight with it or hide her hunchback. <laughs> we just brought the boom to those three rooms, and now I got to go make my decision. Will Derek persuade Mike to get organized with Rachel, crash at Dana's, or kick back with Adrian? Find out next when Room Raiders Double Trouble continues.